Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over how you guys go about creating an elevation view in your project. So to get started, you guys want to go up to your view tab, click once, go over to your elevation tool and click once. Once you guys click once, um, there's one thing you guys want to check before you guys actually place your elevation is you guys want to go over to your properties. You want to click on the flyout and you want to make sure that you guys are creating an interior elevation and not a building elevation because sometimes Revit will default to the building elevation. So you just want to double check. So once I've checked to make sure that I'm doing an interior elevation, I want to come over to my model space and I want to place where I want my elevation view to go. And kind of a few tips when you guys are placing your elevation view, if it is not placing it in the direction that you want it, you guys can hit tab on your keyboard and that will change the direction of your elevation view. So depending on what you guys are trying to look at, um, and if it is not automatically selecting that view, you guys do have that option to use your tab before you um, place that elevation down. So once I have it um, pointing in the direction that I want that elevation, I want to click once and that will set that elevation down. Once I've set my elevation down, I have to hit escape on my keyboard to come out of that tool of placing the elevations. So I'm just gonna hit escape on my keyboard to come out of that. Now, before we actually go and take a look at this view, um, there's a couple things that I want you guys to notice with your elevation. The first thing is you guys are gonna notice that it has the view name attached to the elevation. If you guys do not want to see that, you guys do have the option to turn that off. And how you guys are able to do that is if you guys go over to your project browser, you go to your family, portion underneath project browser you want to hit the plus sign scroll all the way down until you guys see elevation mark pointer circle and you want guys want to hit the plus sign to that as well once you guys hit the plus sign it will expand and you guys want to go down to field arrow and view name and you guys just want to double click on that once you guys double click it will open up this box and you guys just want to click off view name and go ahead and hit okay So that will allow you guys to turn that name off, which is really helpful. The next thing is if you guys hover over the pointer itself and click once, it will bring up your edit view circles here. If you guys see the circles on the edges, you guys are able to click and hold those circles and adjust what that view is actually capturing. So if you guys have a view where you don't want the full view, you guys are able to edit that, all right? And to come out of that, you guys just hit escape. And to get to that view itself, you guys can do two things. You guys can either double click on the arrow itself and that will take you guys to the view or you guys can go over to your project browser scroll up to where you guys see elevations interior and click on the plus sign and you guys are able to double click on it from here as well so whichever one is you guys preference you guys are able to do that so i'm just going to double click here on my pointer and that will take me to the elevation view so that is the basics of how you guys add in an elevation. Um, you guys are able to rename that elevation if you like. You guys can double click on it. And click on rename and that will give you guys the option. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hit like and subscribe if you found it helpful. And leave a comment down below. Thank you.